Chaos Control! Hello everyone, my name is Jordan the Hedgehog and welcome back to Persona 3 Fairs. Last time, we ended up doing a bit of social linking with Chihiro and, and also Yuko, I believe that's all. And we also um saw a few unique moments in the dark hour. Apparently some teenage boy ended up escaping from his coffin and bumped into three total strangers. Apparently they were contracted to get revenge for him, uh, get revenge on him by someone else. But the fact that they are walking around in the dark hour too, that's what con really concerns me. Anyways, we are gonna be heading on over to Tartarus. Hold on, what's the team? Everyone's okay. Okay. That's what I needed to know, just to be safe. Let's go to Tartarus. Okay, who are we adding to the team? Well, obviously Yukari. Add to the party. Let me just double check. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to. I was trying to check your status. Okay. Um, we can change these into combat boots. Oh wait, what's her persona weak to again? Ah, Zio. Okay, I want to give her the one that has an immunity to, or at least an evade to... Okay, we don't have an evade to electricity. Let's just go with Stumble, I guess. I can give her a Master's Garment. Plus one to Endurance. Plus ten SP. Let's give her this. Thanks. Okay, now to add you to the team. I don't think I'll be adding Junpei to the team, so yeah. It's gonna be Mitsuru, myself, Yukari, and Akihiko. We're gonna change up your equipment as well. I guess I'll give her those combat boots. Give her a master's garment. Add you to the team as well, Akihiko. But first, I need to give you your equipment as well. Blade Fist. Yeah, can't. We don't really have any stronger weapons. Master's garment. Combat boots. Of the ice variety. Definitely want to give you those ones. Thanks. I'll make I'll make good use of it. All right. Let's see how high we can climb in Tartarus. The highest we've managed to reach is floor fifty-nine. Where would the next? Boss floor B. Level floor 70? That's that's the feeling that I'm getting, maybe. For some reason, there are way fewer enemies in that area. Really? 
fewer enemies here. I don't think we really need to tinker with that. Oh, there's a big one. My skill level has increased. There's a rare one. I don't want to let it escape. of that. That was too easy. I know, right? Got in the heel long sword. Wait, is that it? There's no more area other areas? Oh wait. Looks like there might be an area that I could check. Okay, so there was no other area around here to check. Never mind. This area doesn't have many enemies either. Hmm. Very few enemies. Combat boots. <laughs> Of course I would get that now. I mean, it's not like I just spent, say, money on four to five pairs of the stuff, the things. Are you sure you're not tired? Please don't push yourself too hard. Surprisingly smaller than I thought it was. I wonder how many of these floors are gonna be around that size. There aren't many enemies there either. Really? What's going on? Looks like you've hit the dead end. It's a dead end. Good job. Please come back to the entrance. So, floor 64. That's as high as we can go. Old document 3. What happens if... Okay, now... Apparently we do need to... Do something about the next... Uh, shadow we'll possibly have to face. Okay, yeah, let's return, for now. You know, since I've hit the highest point that I've... that I could... reach, I figured this would be a good spot to do some grinding. But before that, I want to go see Elizabeth and... Oh wait, hold on. I want, I want to read that old document. I didn't read the old document real quick.
Okay, let's see here. Dictionary, I think? Yeah. Old document number three. They built a research facility here. They want me to join the team. But I have a bad feeling. Join the team? Wait, who? Who's joining what team? That is so vague. Alright, let's check the request. Oh wait, no, no, no. Accept requests. Bring me a Christmas star. Bring me something to wipe glasses. I don't think I'll be able to do that. Bring me a protein nut for pros. Yeah, that's... I don't think that's gonna be happening. Um... Oh yeah, let's accept this. Because I did do these snake scales at one point. Retrieve a Google-eyed idol. In your world, known as a Google-eyed idol. Can't imagine where I'm gonna find that. Shell of a man? For scientific study. Okay, I'm gonna select this one too. Wait, what? Free request? Wait, what else did I do? What else have I taken up so far? Oh, a bronze medal. I need to get the... Okay. Makes That makes a lot more sense. Could I... Cash in one of those requests at the very least? I, I can't? Oh, I don't have three of those snake things yet? I thought I did. Oh no, I gotta cancel one of them now. I have to cancel this one. Oh, I hate having to give up 2,000 yen just for that. Okay, let's just select the ones that I can get something out of first. The third old document, let's go with that one first. Defeat bronze dice. Floors 41 to 46. I need to remember that. Yep, I see you've retrieved the third old document. And before the deadline. Well done. Of course, it was written by a human. But who? I'm sure you'll find the answer higher in the tower. Please accept your award. Free Tracedo Gems. Let's see. What other request could I do? Oh, I can cash this one in because I've completed it. You seem to have completed a request. Just a moment while I check. I have confirmed your casting of the fusion spell, Jack Brothers. What a charming operetta from the two brothers. Operetta? Hmm. In any case, I would gladly summon them just to watch that again. Please accept your award. Five Bufula gems. Is there, a is there anything else? Is there another request that I perform justice? Please perform the fusion skill justice. You will need a regular angel and a higher class of angel. Okay, all I gotta do is just grab my angel persona and I already have Archangel, so... Once I figure out which personas I want to get rid of, then...
Speaking of personas, let's see who's worth giving up. Yeah, I don't need Pixie anymore, and I won't be needing Jack Frost either. No, I'm not going for our Mitama. Um, what could I use Jack Frost for? Let's go with this. I'm gonna make Oberon of the Emperor. Wait, what? Oh wait, Fornius is also an Emperor. Okay, yeah. Then I definitely wanna go with this one. I'll gain Pulimpa, Pulimpa, Repatcha, or an Otosuku Kaja, and a Wakanda. Yes, it is acceptable. I am Oberon. Our hearts are united. Let our journey together begin. It's about to level up. Magic increased by one. Endurance has increased by two. Survive dark. What does that skill do for me? Level up! Strength increased by 2, magic increased by 1. Learned Mazio. Another level up. Endurance by 1, agility by 2. Zan A. The persona cannot remember any more skills. Please choose one to forget. I definitely want to keep that. Decreases 1 first. Okay. One ally who's been knocked down. Makes one throw panic. Uh, let's give up this. The Persona Oberon has emerged from the sea of your soul. Alright. Um... I believe that'll be all. Okay, now that I've done all the Persona stuff I needed with Igor and Elizabeth, I'm gonna do some level grinding here. So I'll just jump cut until we reach when everybody's tired. So see you then! CHAOS CONTROL! Okay, done all the possible grinding that I can do for now. So, we're gonna, re we're gonna be returning to the dorm. No longer in great condition. Okay, but that's... That's not a bad thing. Who are we gonna bump into? Archer Hero! Oh, Korn-san! <laughs> Hello! I... Um... Was thinking... Yes? Um, I, um, uh, if you, um, get bored, then, um, maybe we could, um, <laughs> never mind, bye. Yeah, talk to her after school. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, wait. Still got classes. Please sit down so we can begin. Today's lecture. Ada, ada. Ada, ada, lo, ada, dia. Why does that sound familiar? Ada, ada, lo, ada, dia. Huh. Mrs. Teoachi was supposed to teach you today, but she's had an emergency. I'll be your instructor instead. Today we'll learn about natural magic. It's similar to page to paganism, which we discussed before. Natural magic is, obviously enough, magic that draws its power from nature. The most popular form is probably herbalism. Calendar-based spells are also a form of natural magic, since they involve the seasons. Some of you may be familiar with dowsing, which uses a pendulum or cane to find things underground. This too is a form of natural magic. It was first used to detect sources of water. That should be enough examples, I think. Let's move on to the basic mindset of natural magic. You must first recognize yourself as a part of nature and accept its power. In other words, think of human existence as a micro microcosm of a vast cosmology. This mindset is based on the idea of four classical elements. Ancient magicians thought that different objects which shared a common element would react to one another. Huh? I'm lost. They did experiment after experiment trying to prove their hypotheses about nature. Are you all listening? I certainly hope so. <laughs> I'll give you a little test to make sure. You'll receive an ill omen if you get it wrong. Ada ada lo ada dia. Who should I pick? Alright, Cohen, I ask D. Which form of natural magic was used to look for water sources? Dowsing. Excellent work! Your answer rings true. No news is, gr is good news. But back to the main subject. Prayer is a part of natural magic. A characteristic of the prayers in natural magic is that many of them praise the earth goddess. This ties into the concept of natural magic as a way of invoking nature's blessing. As time passed, natural magic developed into natural science. But in the transition of natural science, a key element was lost. That's the problem of time. Natural magic forbade the use of performing spells that went against the normal flow of time. Its practitioners believed that magic should not define nature and to this day, take care to follow natural laws. You gave the correct answer. Nice, an increase to my charm. Class has ended for today. Before I do anything, I'm just going to head straight on over to Elizabeth. I want to go see if I can do a request with her specifically. Ah, okay, so I can go on a date on any de day of the week with Elizabeth. Yeah, go on a date. Ah, I've been expecting you. Shall we be on our way? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Flowing stairs 
that must be mastered by those who would try to pass. So this is an escalator. Yep. And you're supposed to go on the one on the opposite side of the stairs. It looks simple, but one false step and challengers will be mired in an exhausting ordeal. Uh, no. No, you just took the wrong escalator. Warning. Please refrain from going up the down escalator. And vice versa. Thank you. And what's this? Please watch your step. There's a pitfall just ahead. Really? Where is it? Oh! It's in the center of this fenced off area. It's marked with eye catching signs which state in bold print do not enter. Humans frequently crave that which is forbidden to them. Well, yeah, but this isn't really that forbidden. <laughs> this is a crafty snare that goes against the common notion that pitfalls must be hidden. Stairway that tests one's wits, and a pitfall that tests one's inner strength. You're not planning to go down there, Elizabeth? Human authorities have a great deal to contend with in their quest to defend the town's law and order. I'm very moved by their plight. Let's continue forth. Our thoughts dedicated to the unsung heroes who love this town so very much. She was eyeing a pit for. This. This fragrant aroma. It can't be. Ah, takoyaki. Whoa! You can figure out our secret ingredient just by its smell? Oh, I guess you don't wear those funky clothes for nothing, lady. <laughs> well, there ain't a law against takoyaki shops cooking stuff besides octopus. How about it? You wanna buy one? It'll make you smile so wide your cheeks will fall off. Cuisine so luscious that one's cheeks fall off. Um, no, no, it's... <laughs> She's just saying that to attract customers. Such a result would cause havoc in reality, but I'd definitely like to experience this. It's not that expensive. I appreciate the concern. But my curiosity exceeds any monetary. Oh, I see. Upon closer inspection, one package is only 400 yen. Oh, well then, two packages, please. Thanks! Here you go, and come again! This distinct texture. Firm, chewy outer skin. There's no doubt about it. I must say, I'm surprised to come across this used as an ingredient in food. Hmm? The human mind. It is cursed to forever harbor whatever knowledge it gains, whether good or ill. Forgive my reticence. But, there are things your kind is better off not knowing. Huh? Hmm. You finished eating takoyaki. There appear to be several dining establishments around. I wish to try all of them. Um... You sure you can... Fit all that food in your stomach? My first priority is to visit something called 
among the cafe and obtain a foodstuff known as a smoothie bar. I think... <laughs> I think you just mean smoothie. The, the bar is part of how it... This smoothie bar allows for an infinite combination of flavors by mixing various ingredients. You know what? Who am I to argue? Just thinking about it gives me a sort of electric tingle across my tongue. We decided to show Elizabeth around the eateries. We appear to have exhausted the culinary possibilities in this area. Oh my! Are you feeling well? Now that I think about it, you haven't eaten much since our seventh meal. I would assume there's not... <laughs> I'm assuming he might be feeling a little sick. In any event, I have to thank you for the tasty experience. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> If you don't mind, I'd very much enjoy accompanying you again. You headed back to the Velvet Room with Elizabeth. <laughs> um... I'll be leaving for now. <laughs> Alright, now to, to hang out with Chihiro. Oh, Koen-san, are you on your way home? Um, would you like to spend some company? Oh, I mean, must have said, would you like some company? Yeah, I got Archangel. I'm definitely gonna accept the offer. Then, um, let's go somewhere for a while. Chihiro seems happy. Chagall Cafe, which you with coffee fills the air. The time flies while you sip your drinks. Is it just me, or is the air conditioning in here too strong? I feel lightheaded. I haven't been feeling well lately. I couldn't even finish my lunch today. Chihiro looks pale. Oh no. I may have caught a cold. I'm sorry, Khan-san, but can we go to a drugstore? You agreed to go to the drugstore with Chihiro. I'll go get some medicine. I'll be right back. What's your hurry, girly? Going to your boyfriend's? W what do you want? You just keep it. You just came out of the drugstore, right? What'd you buy? Hmm? Hmm? L leave me alone. Go away. Come on, Uh, let's stand threateningly. Who are you? I, I was just making sure she was okay. But I have to get going. My favorite anime is on now. Oh, did I... Was I being a bit too intimidating? Oh, oh. I I'm glad I thought you were going to hit him, Koen-san. That's why... That's why she was, like, sweating bullets. I wouldn't want you to... to fight... because of me. But just now, you were... um... You... um... helped me, Koen-san. And I'm not scared anymore. But... Why am I still shaking? Uh... 
Hold her hand? Maybe? <gasps> Come on, son! She here seems a little surprised. Thank you. I'm okay now. Why all of a sudden do I feel short of breath? Come on, son. I... Hero seems to truly appreciate your help. The relationship is growing str is stronger now. A mysterious voice rings in your head. That's level five. By the way, level four. With the Justice Arcana, oh boy, um... It seems Chihiro is flustered. Your relationship is becoming more intimate. I really must be sick. I feel like my face is all flush. Um, but by the way, thank you for saving me today. Ex excuse me. Hero ran away, blushing. You decided to go back to the door. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do when I actually want to choose the girl oh, that I hey. actually like? Oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna call the episode here for now. So, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Persona 3 Fez. Until then, take care. Chaos Control!